Wow. Hi. Thank you. I don't have anything under control. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the notification button down below. And please do not forget to subscribe as well. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. Hi. What's good? So today, I decided to shoot this assumption video that I've been seeing throughout YouTube and I was like I really want to find out what you guys think of me so I went ahead to ask some of you guys and I got some really interesting response and without further ado let's just get started okay so the first one I got is she's sweet I mean I, I I, con I consider myself as a nice person, but like I might rub off in a different way to people when they first meet me. Okay, so the next one is that you have everything under control and organized. Well, <laughs> thank you very much, but let me be honest with you guys. I don't have anything under control. It may seem like I have everything under control, but trust me, I am struggling. Like... College is stressing me out. I'm trying to get my life together. I am this close to graduating. I need to plan ahead of time because I have goals that I still want to like achieve before I graduate. So my life is like all over the place and I need to bring it back together. But if I look like my life is organized, then it's means that I do a pretty good job at pretending. I assume you're single. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am not single and yeah, that's it. I'm not single, I'm not searching and yeah. Very friendly, yes, I am a very friendly person. Like if you know me in person, you know that I go above and beyond for people that I call my friends and I I don't consider myself otherwise really. This one is interesting. I thought you were super outgoing but you are actually like low key. I like to go out but I don't go out at all. Let me explain. What I mean is I like to go out and have fun and things like that but there are certain factors that restrict me from not going out like now i'm in college i don't have a car because i don't know how to drive shame on me yeah so not having a car kind of highly motivates me not to go anywhere because i don't want to spend money on uber and it's not something that it really bothers me because where am i going to <laughs> are you a contracted model because your pictures are amazing oh thank you uh, unfortunately no i'm not a model in any way shape or form i just like to take pictures because i'm a bored person so i usually like text my friends that do have cars and be like hey what are you doing this weekend and they say nothing i'll be like let's just go downtown and take pictures and i just do my makeup do my hair dress up pack my outfits and just start taking pictures because i'm bored um, I mean, hopefully one day I would want to like professionally model, but for now it's all for fun. I'm not a contracted model in any way, and yeah, you didn't like me. I remember meeting you at orientation, and you just looked at me crazy. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Like honestly, okay. So first of all, I was an orientation leader for the University of South Florida, and trust me, like when it's time, when it's time for like session during session, like. Your mind is not at one place, like it's all over the place because first of all you have to like um, take care of your students and you have to think about the next activity ahead of time and you just have to be very observant about your environment because like anything can happen and you're responsible for a certain group of students. So I don't know like if I looked at you crazy, um, you trust me, it wasn't like my intention. It could be like I was stressed and it was just it just happened in the moment that I looked at you some type of way but like I don't remember like looking at you crazy for a specific reason. Okay. Um, so the next person said, you, I assume you're very outgoing. I am to some certain extent, to be honest. Like, I, I feel like, um, 70% of my personality is more like reserved than outgoing. I usually stay in my room and that's it. If my friends are not dragging me out to anywhere, I'm not going anywhere, honestly. So, and the next assumption I got is you're, you're a shy in person. Yes, I am 100% shy. Especially when I'm around people that I do not know, I 
I'm like very quiet. I don't say anything simply because not because I don't want to like socialize and meet new people, but also I tend to want to like observe my environment, get to like know and observe the people around me a little bit before I start opening up myself and it does take time so yes I understand if people see me as a very shy person at first but later on when you get to know me when we get to talk more often you know that I'm not a shy person anyway um someone said I assume that you like peanut butter why on earth would someone assume the kind of things that I eat I eat peanut butter it's not like I crave for it I eat it all the time I just eat it once in a blue moon and yeah i mean you can say yes i eat peanut butter but like it's not like crazy and then someone said i assume that you're a mean person i mean i'm not mean i'm very friendly i i'm i'm only mean to people that deserve it so if you do something to me or you do something stupid or you just want to start up a fight for no reason or for a stupid reason and that's when i'm going to be mean to you so that you check yourself i won't be mean to someone just for the fun of it, if that makes sense. I really don't have time for that. I mean, that's different from joking, but like, when it comes to like being serious, I can be mean to people that I hate so much. And yeah, I really don't care because for me to be mean to you, you have to have done something really, really bad to me. And yeah, I'm this type of person that I can forgive, but it's hard for me to forget. Depending on the nature of, Thing you did to me but yeah um someone said as you a troublemaker well <laughs> i sometimes okay let's be honest here back in high school i used to look for trouble i used to instigate trouble because i thought it was fun because in my high school like they didn't allow us with like phones or anything so like if there's drama it's like the light of the moment so I used to kind of like low-key instigate some things well now that I'm in college and I'm like a little bit more matured did I say a little bit more matured? now I'm more matured and I really don't have time for that because I have like bigger things I'm thinking about I um I won't consider myself a troublemaker anymore because um it's not necessary in my life honestly someone said is your channel only about hauls or other things because the hauls is a bit much Okay, this is not an assumption, this is a question. But to answer it, um, at first I wanted my channel to strictly be all about clothing reviews, but now I changed my mind because I don't want it to be that I'm only catering more towards my female audience. I want my male audience to feel like, oh, I can get some funny and interesting content from my channel as well. So definitely, no, my channel is no longer going to be about clothing reviews. I have future plans of like incorporating different content in my channel and um, yeah stay tuned I assume you're a very demanding person um it depends honestly it depends on the individual like if you're someone that's like really really like close to me or like a significant other or like family there are certain things that i do expect from you to do or like there are certain ways i expect you to like behave and then when you start behaving the opposite that's when we now have a problem um the next question was um i assume you're a perfectionist i am not a perfectionist at all you look extremely welcoming but equally rude in a way hmm. um, I mean that's true I am very welcoming and I don't consider myself a rude person honestly really I just feel like this assumption kind of ties down to how I carry how I carry myself outside like if I don't know you and I'm minding my business the way I walk the way I carry myself my facial expression everything can just easily make people conclude I'm a rude person and that's quite understandable because I've gotten this kind of assumptions like a lot of times from my friends that that from people that were not my friends but are now my friends so I kind of like understand where this person is coming from but like trust me guys like i'm a very welcoming person i'm easy to talk to i'm very approachable and yeah someone said i just thought you were a reserved person that cracked the occasional joke to seem approachable this is so true first of all i'm very very reserved extremely reserved uh and honestly i'm a very funny person i like to crack jokes as well just lighten up the moment 
not necessarily to i don't crack jokes to seem or give people the impression that they can approach me but I honestly i just love when people have a good laugh i don't know why i i feel like when people are like happy because of something that i said i just feel some level of satisfaction inside of me and yes okay someone said that i assume you are wealthy as hell and that you probably dance very well okay first of all um i don't know how people define wealthy but honestly i i mean amen to that um my parents do their very best to make sure that you know i'm well taken care of in school and i don't like anything and i really really like appreciate that the next one yes i'm a good dancer i love dancing ever since i was small i love dancing high school middle school college everything i just love dancing i don't think i would ever stop dancing and so thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video please do not forget to subscribe like share do whatever i want to do with this video and yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video okay